The TTC is being urged to take action to improve air quality on the subway system. A new report from Toronto Public Health says the contaminants PM 2.5 is high enough underground to warrant medica mitigation. And Toronto's chief medical officer of health says the TTC can and should address the issue. So there's an opportunity here for the TTC to demonstrate continued leadership on this front, to stay in front of this issue, even though it is very much an evolving science. This is still a new issue. Other subway systems around the world are just starting to identify this themselves as well within the last few years and are also working on trying to figure out what are the best solutions, what are the best measures that can be taken. Despite the concerns, her recommendation is to continue taking the subway. After studying the health impact, her team found a number of reasons the subway is positive for passengers and environmental health. For instance, it reduces air pollution and greenhouse gases associated with vehicle use and provides passengers with daily physical activity, walking to and from stops. But one important note, the report specifically looks at passenger health and not occupational hazards. So for TTC employees who spend the majority of the day underground, the question of health is still up in the air. What would you say to the employees who are fearing for their safety? The Ministry of Labour, uh, provincial government, uh, has said that our, our levels are well below what is considered acceptable. Um, so that's a good thing. Uh, Toronto Public Health today has said that, uh, that there's room for improvement. We know that. We acknowledge that. Um, but, you know, we believe that the system is safe for our customers and our employees. The union representing TTC workers is demanding that the TTC clean what they call dirty air underground. Now, for a full list of recommendations from Toronto Public Health, you can point the camera on your phone at the code on the bottom right of our screen. That'll take you to our website, citynews.ca.